Well, this is being recorded after the fact, of course. Uh, sharp pointy knife, you know. Okay, so this is going to be an unboxing of the AJAZZ 680 mechanical keyboard. And uh, they packaged it pretty well. I had to get out my sharp pointy knife and literally carve at this as much as possible. Now, I lost the original audio recording for this, so I had to, of course, you know, do this voiceover to make sure we get the gist of it. My god, look at that packaging. Look how busted it is. That is not the way that you send packages. And it's one of the main reasons why I left a uh, review stating so. But that moved my entire desk and my camera. So that was something. But as you can see, a jazz is right there. It's a nice, interesting box. I really couldn't tell whether it was supposed to be like this or the other way around, but we kind of went with this. Now this is a 68 key keyboard. It's missing the other 30% to be a full keyboard. And uh, it's got nice clackiness. It sounds pretty damn good. Uh, I don't know. Should I do a sound test? Probably. I'm going to just just wait until we get this box open because it was, you know, upside down. And, of course, I, really, I figured that out. Now, the reason I saw this keyboard, I'm like, a good mechanical keyboard for $27? Why not, right? What could go wrong? Well, you'll have to wait till the end of this to see the review and notice. But it's got a good USB cable, as you can see there. It came with a couple extra switches and uh, a switch puller and a key puller. Yeah, so it was a pretty interesting little guy. And this is it right here. It's absolutely adorable. Get out of there, Mr. Paper. Look at that thing. Wow. So... Let's take a good listen on what it actually sounds like while we're here. I want you guys to know. And here you go. It's a nice sounding keyboard for sure. The reason I think it sounds so good is because it has its other issues. So I'm going to turn on my noise suppression, my noise gate there. Sorry, that was kind of loud. Uh, now, the cable it came with is one of those angled ones. As you just saw, I plugged it in. Well, I didn't. I used a cable from another thing, but the cable it actually came with is great. That angled cable sucks really bad, and I don't like it. Now, it does have type lighting, okay? Uh, you can switch profiles and stuff with the arrow keys and the function keys. Uh, you might notice them under my thumb there. Uh, but that is some bright RGB. <clears throat> Very bright RGB. Now, I did come across a couple issues with that, but I'm going to state that in the review. There's the extra key switch. There's the extra switches and the key puller and uh, the switch puller and everything like that. I actually used one of those switches to repair my Keytron. The backspace key did not work uh, properly, and now that it does, I'm pretty happy about that. But this little guy, this is going in my backpack. This is becoming one of those things that I can carry around with me that's super lightweight, that doesn't really increase the, um, you know, the heft of my uh, backpack any more than it already is. I mean, I have a full-size laptop in there, and mouse, game controller, a bunch of cables, everything that I need. So adding one more thing, it kind of worried me in the beginning, but after testing it for a while, there you go. So thank you to AliExpress for sending me this. I really do appreciate it. Their influencer program is kind of cool. Uh, hey guys, uh, so this is the this is the review part of you know the keyboard itself. I've been using it for a week. I want to go over some things with it. I did leave out some information before about the keyboard itself that I want to go over. Uh, so it's 68 key keyboard. You can kind of tell it's not like full size or anything. Uh, I, I do wish there was a numpad and everything. I would love to see this in full because it looks great as it is. But it's got a custom axle body. I'm not sure exactly what, you know, that means uh, in a nutshell. Is there like something else on my camera? Okay. 
and uh, EVA filled cotton. Uh, it's got ABS colored coated keycaps. Not only that, but um, you can completely remove uh, the caps itself, obviously, and you can also remove the switch, which is what this is for, and you can end up swapping out with other switches. So it's fully compatible with other switches, which is nice. And uh, an alternative version of this keyboard is also 2.4 gig wireless and Bluetooth, but that requires batteries. I'm not even kidding. They, they, they require batteries, which is ridiculous. So two times seven batteries, whatever the hell that means. Uh, the cable itself is really good. I'm using it on my Keytron at the moment, so I can actually, I just basically can hot swap out key keyboards if I need to, to go back to testing and everything. But uh, yeah, this thing sounds and works really well. Let me just unplug the Keytron here real quick and get this thing plugged in. There we go. Look at that. So it does have different modes of lighting. The main problem is getting the lighting to change. I know there's a function key. I just don't know how my kid did it. I think it has to do with maybe this. Yeah, there's type lighting. So it's these two keys right here, which is definitely interesting. So what else do they have? So it's really kind of only type lighting and rainbow, I guess. Unless there's uh, others in here. I don't really know. The manual is kind of useless. Yeah, 68 key leave. So we're leaving 30% of the table. And we got the fully hot swappable keys. Multi-dice device compatibility. Product banner. So it's actually 100 uh, millimeters on width. And 300 uh, 310 millimeters on this way so oh horizontally and with my bad sorry yeah so it's a very interesting device and it works on of course windows mac android ios as well and linux which is nice and it comes in a variety of colors so you got the red double template you got the purple double template you got the red wired version purple wired version Ah, so it's actually a very nice creative little keyboard. Let's talk about the issues. So after a while when this is plugged in, like right now, uh, here's my main issue. This key no longer works. Right, I'm pressing it and my uh, start menu is not opening on Linux, which is a bit disappointing. And these keys here will work. A few others will work, like the majority will work, right? But having individual keys stop working is kind of a deal breaker for me. But again, if it allows me to play RuneScape and allows me to type stuff out, which it does, if I just can't use the start menu, I honestly don't care. Uh, I'm just, this goes in my backpack. This is built from my laptop, I guess, because it's so small and compact and lightweight that I can just do whatever I want with it, right? And enjoy my life. And, uh... I like it for that and it's only $22 it's actually on sale for 21 right now I mean if you have any money off on AliExpress you can grab it there as well uh, you want to grab it you know maybe mine's defective and yours won't be it's one of those things uh, check the description you'll find a link to grab it using my affiliate code if you need to and I don't know I actually did game with this it was pretty good before the keys randomly started stop working why do you not work, good sir? Let's try that. I was hoping that would be a reset button, but it wasn't. Yeah. Pretty interesting to finally find out how that thing changes its colors and stuff. So, yeah. This has been the Ajaz uh, 6800. And it's kind of hard to recommend a keyboard that I don't know would work for you. Like, that key doesn't work. But, you know, if you're interested in it and you think you're going to get lucky with it actually working and stuff like that, feel free. I might talk to the manufacturer about what the heck the problem is and see if maybe I can get it fixed. 
But uh, thanks to AliExpress for funding me to send this out. It means a lot. I, I like testing new stuff and doing videos like this. As many of you know, I've been doing a lot more. And I plan on doing a lot more. Uh, it's very hard to do review on something that doesn't work fully. But it's got to be done, right? I can't just play it off as some bad joke. I got to actually put something into this and give back. I hope you guys appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.